try one more dramatic step back. So I have no idea how much of that worked. You've probably noticed I haven't been doing a lot here lately and that's mostly just because I've been super busy with life things and trying to get other things to come together and it's the holidays and stuff like that so that tends to be a thing but I'd like to share this little shoot I did recently using all instant film except for three sheets of Velvia 100 4x5. This photo shoot started with a theme of a strong color influenced by the work of Erwin Blumenfeld. In lieu of getting a dress, we actually came upon the idea of wrapping her in plastic. Wrapped in plastic. From a plastic tablecloth. I bought two that were fairly long and that's the entirety of the outer portion of this outfit. I like to thank Marisol, a local photographer for this space. You can go to her Instagram through that uh, name right there and it's in the description as well. She had painted it in multiple themes for family photos. She's a family and lifestyle photographer. You can see how Madeline styled the dress using just straight pins here, just bunching and folding and designing on the fly, securing it to itself and then I did a little fastening job in the back and we were ready to experiment. She completed the ensemble with this custom-made strawberry necklace. We had some clips we used as earrings too. The Lomo Graphlock production model is nice and clean. It's a very refined version of the prototype I had. And the addition of the on-off slash lock switch is a major plus. Also, the counter on the production model works. Despite this being a fairly well-lit spot and 800 ISO film that I was primarily shooting with, I would also be shooting with some 100 speed film and it's not as bright as it looks and when you're shooting on a 4x5 it definitely eats a lot of light. So I wanted to bring a flash. I had a ring flash and a strip box and I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. I metered using my digital camera. Nice and easy. It really never gets old watching these develop in light, and it's always fun for people who've never seen it to watch this development process. Also, recently I've picked up a VHS camcorder that was actually used on screen for the uh, show Cruel Summer, held by Harley Quinn Smith, as you can see in this photo. This is literally the same camcorder, which is kind of cool, and it was a lot of fun to play with, and you'll be seeing this a lot more as we go. Barry, are you ready for your close-up? I've wanted to do motion accompaniment to photos for quite a while, and this is an interesting avenue to explore for that. I'm still trying to figure out some audio issues with it, but I don't need much of that anyway. I'd say overall, the Instax film performed well, and the Lomo Graph Flock back, uh, for what it does, which isn't a lot other than processing and holding the film, performed really well. Uh, I had one misfire, I think, when I brushed the eject button when placing it on the ground, but all of my problems were pretty much exposure-based. I think partially from forcing the ring flash awkwardly over the front of the crown graphic and also probably forgetting to stop it down. Oh, Jamie, the color on these! And yeah, the color turns out really well. When you're shooting, you think you wash out everything and it's really kind of muted, but when it fully develops, which takes, I think, upwards of 10 to 30 minutes or something, the reds are nice and punchy. It's not an ultra-saturated film by any means. It's not high contrast, but you can still get a nice kick in your reds. You can see where the ring flash probably just flared on the lens and maybe I can come up with some kind of hood arrangement for it or just not bother with ring flash using a crown graphic. Who knows? But overall, despite a couple of misses, I was very happy with how this pack of film turned out. A viewer of mine, before all the crazy things happened this year, I think, I'm sorry, sent me a box of instant film, some actual still functioning 4x5 peel apart stuff. I have taken way too long to try to shoot that, but Sam Atkins, I hope it was you. But thank you so much for that, and if I got the wrong person, uh, please gently correct me, but I will shout it out on an upcoming video. Okay.
Okay, well that's freaking awesome looking. It, it technically is messed up. Oh, yeah, but I messed wish up I didn't beautifully. Get it on your, okay, here we go. Wipe it off, wipe it off, wipe it off. There we go. Okay. Messed up in a beautiful way. I still got my face, this. The only Type 59 I'll ever get to shoot, but. Like Corpse Ride meets Candyland. Smell all those old polo chemicals. I think we we'll leave the word is pop, not smell. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least I got to shoot one sheet of Type 59 and uh, the spread was okay. That is gonna fall on it. Fall on it. It looks like probably the, the pod was a little bit dried on this one. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but despite the aged chemicals and incomplete spread, I'm so happy with how it turned out, and it was so cool to actually get to shoot this. That's cool, it's got its zoom works. We're here uh, in the garage studio with uh, latest Fit Starlet. <laughs> Yes, that's her talent also. It's her talent as well as her name. <laughs> you might notice a sci-fi sound effect in there. I'm not completely sure what that is, but still more audio things. And I had a really great time on this shoot and it was so fun. But we still have some stuff to share from the shoot, including the 4x5 LVO 100. I uh, got a couple of Polaroids and they look okay. Uh, nothing super special about the Polaroids on this day, but I still like them. And here are a few of them. But the Polaroids were just an addition to the shoot, so they didn't have to be perfect. And in that regard, these turned out beautifully. I kind of like the blur on that one. Marisol caught this footage of me doing the Velvia 100 4x5 shots on my Crown Graphic. Much like Polaroid Type 59, Velvia 100 is fading away into the ether as Fuji has decided it's not worth reconfiguring or reformulating, at least at the moment. It may always come back. Hey, we got Ektachrome back, and Ektachrome's a beautiful film, so there's hope, and until then, we have Ektachrome and maybe Provia 100. Considering that I haven't really done a lot of strobe lately, I think these turn out pretty good and uh, slide film is not the most forgiving thing out there. Uh, I feel even better in that regard. Even though I flared this one out a little bit with errant ring flash placement. But on the last one I worked really hard to try to really nail the fill light with the ring flash and I feel very good about it. I had a shallower depth of field to get these n this nice separation on the stars and I just really love how it turned out and that put a cap on the whole shoot. I'd like to thank my patrons. I have two new ones, Courtney and Molly, and thank you so much to all of you who help make this channel possible and give me encouragement when it's difficult to do things. If you'd like to join my Patreon for as little as a dollar, you can check out the link at the bottom of the screen or in my description. I guess uh, that's it for the moment. I will see you very soon. Check out these two videos on here. I think they're totally worth your time, and I have a lot of fun making them. Thanks!